Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Zero Time Dilemma on Feral Fiasco. Uh, last time, we fell completely for the schmuck bait. We pressed a button and got a game over. So this time, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back. And... We're not going to press the button. How is this? Looks like a warning. Do we? You're just gonna fast forward through this, and we're gonna make our decision. You can't. You mustn't. Push it. Your choice is made. What are you, a chicken? <laughs> this game, though. The door. It opened. See? Didn't I tell you? Yeah, fine. I knew to listen oh, to you. Pfft, Sigma. It's the only thing that makes sense. Hey, not necessarily. The door might have opened if we had pushed it anyway. We don't know. Actually, we did. Stubborn man. Well, I do, anyways. Anyway, we should go. The door might close if we take too long to get out of here. Probably about nine seconds. Um, Sigma, how old are you really? My body's 22. My mind, well, by now it must be almost 67. Jeez. 67? You remember, right? I told you my consciousness came from 2074. Does that mean you were 67 there in the future? The details are a little more complex than that. But that's more or less correct. Yeah. So is it the same thing with Bob? Yes, it's the same. She came back from the year 2074, too. With one difference. Her mind's still young. She must still be around 20 years old. Would mean she was born approximately 2054. No, she was born in 2008. Oh. But the math doesn't. From April 2029 to January 2074, she's been asleep inside of a pod. A what? A device that is capable of placing someone into cold sleep. There's 45 years of blank, nothing stuck inside her mind. So that's why she still thinks. Don't what? question it, Diana. How is it possible for you and Fi to come back to this time? Oh, the, the, the powers I was talking them. about. Shift? It's short for space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. Essentially, it's when a human consciousness is sent through time and space. Also, the button you press to perform that action in ah, VLR. We can use the button from earlier. We didn't push that button, and we're here right now. However, there's a world where we did push it somewhere in this time space. This world, this history, infinitely branches off as a result of momentary decisions. There are other yous, other me's, and other phi's. All of them exist in those different histories. Shift is the phenomenon which allows us to send our consciousnesses to them. This is difficult to take in all at once. Yeah, it's the right? Truth. Don't explain to me how it does whatever it does. So you want to know what it is exactly? I'll sum it up in one sentence. I don't know. <laughs> really, <man? laughs> I come as if I didn't care? This is the conclusion I reached after 45 years of consideration. You just don't I know. know how shift works. But as to why the phenomenon happens. Wait, did you just say you know how shift works? Yeah. Uh, how does it then? Two things are required. 
innate abilities and danger to one's life. Basically, when a person with disability faces a life-threatening crisis, that's when Shift kicks in. And both you and Phi have this strange ability? Yeah. A lot of odd, inexplicable things happened to me when I was a kid. One winter, my friends and I went fishing, and I slipped, falling into the water. I woke up under the blankets on my bed. It was the next day. When I saw my friends in school, I asked them, what happened yesterday? One of them spoke up and said, You blew us off. You promised to come fishing, but you up and canceled on us. There's more. I was about to get run over by a car once and found myself in the school gym. I fell off the roof only to wake up on the school bus. Things like that. Of course, at the time I had no idea what was going on. I just believed they were extremely vivid dreams. Oh my god, how many times has now, Sigma died? I... had shifted. To another world. In another history. Jesus Christ, Sigma! Where's Phi, by the way? Huh? Oh, she's gone. I saw her over with Gab just a minute ago. Now announcing the current casualties. Is it Junpei still? Carlos, Akane. Oh, Jim wow. Q Team, Eric. These four are now deceased. As a result, That is all. No! Four people are dead? Hmm. What the hell happened? They were executed. Executed? From the vote at 1330. Because of the outcome, the three and C team. But wait, that's weird. When you voted back then, you chose Q team. You sure? What? Huh? Did I really vote for Q Team? Did I? What do I you say? actually don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember which team I voted for then. But that can't be. We weren't injected with the amnesia drug afterwards. I know, but still. Wait, hold on. There's another possibility. Maybe the three teams really did split the votes equally. All teams should have survived without dying in that case. But they're... I know. I'm just saying that maybe C team was all killed because of something else. They could have gotten into a big argument and then killed each other. No. Huh, that's oddly specific. Can't say I have any idea. Still, can't we say the same thing goes for what you believe? There's no evidence to support the idea that C team was executed. We don't even know if they're actually dead. Oh my god. What's wrong? I'm pretty sure there's no mistake. C team So Diana has a third set of powers? How do you know. Eric, how did he die? I... Oh my god. What in the hell? No. Who the hell did this? In War Q, there's... There's only Mira and... Q. doesn't seem like a blackout. Oh. Wait. Look out! <laughs> Are you all right, Sigma? Oh my god! Diana, run! No, I can't leave you here! 
If I go with you, I just slow you down. Y you're wounded. Just go. Dude, what is Fi doing? Hurry, now's your chance. What? Get Fi here. Hurry, go. Dude, what the heck is going on? No, that had to have been Fi. I thought she was trying to. No, I Fi. guess I wasn't. Fine. What's wrong? Sigma, Sigma, he. This is not good. There. you luna oh wow luna? i'm sorry that it came to this luna the me from the past won't be coming back here my shift connection's been cut i'm what? sorry now you won't be born in this world what are you saying sigma i i'm no not just you luna Lagomorph, the others. But maybe it's better this way. The history's changed. What? Mankind, this world, will surely be. Dude, I don't understand. Possibility. Stay away from me, you murderer! Hey, wait! Diana! Oh, man. She didn't. What in the world? Fi? Fi? Oh my god. What happened? Please hang on. It was the killer. Killer? Do you mean Zero? No. I don't think so. It wasn't Zero. Then who? You have to escape here, Diana. How? If I die... Oh, you yeah. Can... What are you saying? You can't die! But then that'll release the rest of the X-Passes. I'm so sorry, Fi. I... I... It's okay. It's okay. As long as you survive. Why? Why did this? Oh, this feels nice. Such 
I don't, I really don't, well, Phi and Sigma's X passes should be red and blue, if it's the same as it was last time. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei, QT, Eric, DT, Sigma, Phi. These six are now deceased. As a result, six Okay. So they're there's different six X passes. If I put these in Enter six uh, uh, X passes. Okay, so we, we get to see Diana's ending. Wait, what happened? Oh my god. Oh my god! game over how is that fair so no matter what we do if we end up in that room we die suppression all sections cleared coming up on 90 minutes global flowchart okay so if we end up in that room no matter what option we take we die Do we get like a star? Nope. F that. Let's go ahead. Let's play a Q team fragment next. First come, first saved Q. Let us out! Let us out of here! How long are you planning on doing that? Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Oh my god, I'm Eric. Sorry. Do you know what that button does? 
Well, no, but maybe the door opens with it. I I really wasn't going to push it though. Kids are a pain. But he could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push? Hey, Mira! Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. Don't scare me like that. Oh, come on, but dude. We really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 18.08. It must have been around 13.30 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Wow, yes. you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> well, was it good? <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Hey, come on now. Is, Is Eric that how you met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, my face has got to be all red. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds, though the gloom cleared in an instant, like a miracle. I always mustered up my best smile for customers, even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting was sick of it, though. Man? Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow. As if there was a hole in my heart. I had thought it was just another normal day. And I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. Oh my god, the feelings that hit me. I've never felt anything like that before. Okay, lover boy. That was when I realized this, this had to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? The details aren't important. <laughs> you look like you don't understand. Well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. Next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me an angel? You gotta be kidding. But it's true. You really are an angel to me, Mira. you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Um, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. Which is I anyone can tell be. you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you? You're an odd duck. <laughs> Looks like you've gotten back to your dopey expression again. I guess you calmed down, huh? Dopey? Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely oh. smile no matter what. I don't know, dude. I don't know about Eric. Hmm. I wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. 
Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Wouldn't you want people in health professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Yeah, that's yeah. what I assume. That sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time. What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. They put us in a difficult position on purpose. To observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. By adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. So what is right? it? A piranha. A piranha? A piranha. But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. Fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. I see. So, for an actual Mars mission, it'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? Um, no. Kidding! <laughs> Eric, don't. Say scary things like that. Dude, Mira's looking oh. evil, actually. So maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in DCOM becomes boring, so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency... A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Which is definitely not what happened. I really don't want a demonstration, Zero. I'm actually good on demonstrations. Okay. We gotta hurry or we'll die! Oh my god! 
Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> Where did the nice Eric go? Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! Oh my god. Why, Eric? Oh my god! <gasps> At least he's quiet now. Eric went I'll freaking crazy! To you. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Wh what? Time to decide. No, oh, dude, we're not gonna press the button. Not like what happened last time. Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. Yeah, dude. <sighs> Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? <laughs> What? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means, you get to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. I, I what? Got it. Then, we'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. So we could die. Oh, well, at least at least we won't realize anything's happened. Is it gonna game over us? Oh, no. Okay, so we didn't press the button and it looks like we're good with Q Team. Uh, we're actually going to call it a part here, guys. Uh, I will see you, my adoring public, next time for more Zero Time Dilemma. So, bye for now.